Hey guys, welcome back to iCraft MC. In this episode, we're going to be going to the Nether and fighting Wither Skeletons to try and get Wither Skeleton Skulls. But before we do that, we're going to make today's banner of the day. Today's banner starts with a black banner and white dye. The white dye is in the pattern of a white skull charge. If you want to know how to make a white skull charge, that's made with a Wither Skeleton Skull and a piece of paper. Next, we want to add to this banner a brown chief, which is having brown at the top of the banner, like that. Next, we're going to go, want to go on to a black base gradient, which is this gradient right here, or it's actually this gradient. Then we're going to want to go on to a black border indented, and the border indented is this pattern. And we're going to want to end off with the black chief indented, which looks like this pattern right here. And now you can see what it is, it's a pirate banner. Yeah, so we'll just put this up here with the rest of our banners, and yeah, I thought it was just kind of appropriate since it is the skull and crossbones, which has something to do with wither skeleton skulls. And as you can see, the sword we have with looting on it is quite low right now, so we're probably just going to go and uh, mend that before we go. But yeah, there we go. I also think I'm probably going to mend up these boots, just so that they don't break, because that would be really annoying if we broke our feather falling boots, since that is a rather uh, difficult thing to get a hold of. So we'll just go up here and uh, just combine it with our anvil up here if our anvil still is working up here. Actually, I think it broke last episode, so we'll just uh, make a new one there. Thankfully, we do have a lot of iron, although we don't have an iron golem farm. We do have a rather substantial amount of iron, so that iron can definitely be used to make ourselves an anvil. Because uh, I think the anvil just needs uh, 20, or actually I think 32 iron, so something like that would be perfect. So we'll just go here and grab ourselves a good amount of iron, craft up an anvil, and we can place it back up there and replace it. So we'll just craft ourselves up some blocks of iron and then kind of make the anvil shape here in the crafting grid. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just thinking if we can get, you know, some wither skeleton skulls here, we could eventually fight the wither and get ourselves a beacon. I think it's just kind of a useful thing to have overall, especially with the haste effect. We can use that to possibly work on leveling out mountains or any other type of really large excavation projects around this world, since I do really plan on having this world I have a lot of changes done to it. So let's do this. I'm thinking we could just do three diamonds. That looks easy enough to me. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, we can just repair our sho uh, shoes as well. I probably won't repair these all the way just because I don't think um, it matters too much on these since I'm really probably not going to be keeping these for too much longer. There we go. That didn't cost too many diamonds. And I found that when you really do do quite a bit of mining, it really doesn't matter overall anyway. So there we go. And we can just get that skull charge put away so we don't drag that all the way to the nether and back. Yeah, we do actually have another fortress quite close by, which is really good, so we can go do that. And I made sure to pack some fire resistance potions, and of course our bow and arrow, since uh, that's quite important to have when fighting the wither skeleton. So here we go. Yeah, so I think um, we can probably also work on getting some more blaze rods, since we don't have a huge, huge amount of those. So I believe our fortress is just down here. So this is a tunnel we made a little while ago, but... Yeah, just down here I believe we have a really good, in fact I know we have a really good wither, a uh, really good nether fortress. And uh, yeah, just up here. I think I hear some piglins around. Of course you can always find piglins when you're not looking for them, but when you're looking for them uh, you can't find them at all. But I guess that's just how it goes. Probably just drink the fire resistance potion now just to be safe. We can head off here and do some uh, hunting of wither skeletons. So actually I think the wither, uh, the nether fortress is just over here, so we'll probably just head this way past all the damage from the ghasts and thankfully with fire resistance and feather falling we're actually not at really too much danger in the nether overall which is really good so we'll just clean up our inventory a bit here we can probably use that i hope 27 potatoes is enough but uh if not it's not the end of the world since we can always just eat rotten flesh or something like that from the pig uh pigmen so we'll just head up this little interesting little very uh, i call this this dangerous stairway here because it does work but it's very dangerous because it's really easy to fall down into the lava down there but thankfully with the fire resistance and the feather falling it shouldn't be too much of a problem it's actually crazy how much certain enchantments like that can really affect how much easier minecraft is you know i would say like feather falling overall just makes the game so much easier and it's really nice okay let's see if we can find any interesting mobs we can hunt doesn't look like there's any blaze here right now, or any really wither skeletons either, so hopefully we can find them. I don't know why I put some blocks here, that's kind of weird. 
Uh, this must just go to an end point, but I hear a blaze now. That's perfect. And with the fire resistance, it should be quite easy to get them, especially with this looting three. We should be able to get ourselves a very, very good amount of the blaze rods. Awesome. Just three from one blaze. Hey, that's what I call an awesome amount of blaze rods. Oh my goodness, three each. That's actually really cool. It's actually a really cool place because you have two uh, blaze spawners right next to each other, so you can get tons and tons of blaze, but we're not actually primarily going for blaze. We're primarily going for the... Uh, the wither skeletons, but we can always go for some. Get out of here, stupid blaze. There we go. Yeah, already 17 blaze rods. I can't believe how fast it is with the looting three sword. Hey, there's a wither skeleton. We could try and get that. Hopefully we can get a skull, but of course the chance is so low, but uh, hey, we could always get it first try. That's always cool. Here we go. We don't have um, smite or anything like that, so unfortunately this might be... Ah, oh, no, it went off the edge. But uh, yeah, we can definitely get it. I think there's some piglins behind me, so I'll just get those. And uh, yeah, my full diamond armor is certainly helping with this, so I'll just get this blaze. All right, I, th I think that um, I don't actually know if that wither skeleton died or not. Am I just fallen down here? Let's see if we can see it. Ah, no, this looks like it did die. Did it drop a skull down here? It did not. I did drop a bit of coal. That was a pretty quick kill for that uh, piglin there. I wonder if it must have been damaged before. Yeah, let's just grab some of this nether rack here, and we can take a quick look uh, back up here. I think this fortress is actually quite expansive, so if we just keep exploring around, we should be able to find some good clusters of um, of withers, our wither skeletons. <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy if we went through here and we saw a big cluster of withers themselves. But uh, yeah, there we go. All right, we'll just get rid of these blaze. Perfect. 23 blaze rods already is awesome. We can maybe even use those for some other things too. So let's see what's down here. I'm not sure if these torches are making the wither skeletons stop spawning or not. Maybe I should get rid of them. That's probably a good idea, uh, especially on the intersections. I know that they only really spawn on these intersections, so I think I'll just get rid of these torches. I don't think they're very useful. I don't really don't think this fortress is big enough to get too lost in. Although it does look like we're now approaching... Let's see, a Soul Sand Valley. Now, if I remember correctly, a Soul Sand Valley actually spawns more mobs in another fortress than any other biome. So this could possibly be a very, very good way of getting ourselves some uh, Wither Skeletons. Although I can't actually see any right now, which is funny because, yeah, I can't see any mobs whatsoever. That's quite interesting because I know that they can certainly spawn in the uh, in this biome. Let's see if we've gotten this chest yet. We have not three diamonds. Hey, that's awesome. That almost pays back for the... Uh, for the ones that we lost. Looks like there's another chest here with a wither, with two wither skeletons on top of it. This could be perfect. Get rid of these. And uh, yeah, see if we can do a critical attack. Perfect. And on you. Perfect. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like we got any skulls. We can totally get all these chests. I guess I haven't gotten any of these, which is awesome because these chests can have really good loot. I mean, I think they can even have like enchanted golden apples, stuff like that. And we really do need an enchanted, gold, an enchanted golden apple for. Uh, a banner pattern, so it's definitely good to look through here, but I am still hoping we can find, uh, these are awesome, but yeah, hopefully we can find more so of withers and less so of these chests. I mean, well, more so of both, I suppose. I would not mind whatsoever getting more and more of these chests. Yeah, let's see what we can do in terms of getting some more withers. It uh, looks like there is a mob up here. Take a look. Uh, yeah, just a pig man. Okay. You can look back here, awesome to get all those chests, so I can't believe all that loot, that's awesome. Six diamonds just from a couple chests, I guess, what, five chests, since I did break them all? So, uh, yeah, we'll just go through here. And, um, hmm, there might be something around the corner. Oh, ah, it's a skeleton, that's what's around the corner, not a wither skeleton, but just a normal one. Yeah, I think he thinks he looks cool in his armor. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, let's see what else we can find around here. It's funny, all these empty corridors, I would assume there'd be more mobs here, but I guess that's fine. Uh, there's that where we went before. There could be something up here, past this little fence. It's funny, I think there might be two fortresses that are intersecting, just because I've never really seen generation like that before. It's quite interesting. Now, I think, if I remember this correctly, unless we've gotten to a repeat, I think going up here is going to go back. So, yeah, yeah, there's a torch. We definitely have been here now. Let's see if there's anything here. Uh, nothing much, just two diamond horse armor. We can get rid of all the things we don't really need, like the coal here. Um, I mean, even like the gold armor isn't that amazing. Um, we can certainly get rid of these swords. That's probably the best thing to get rid of is all these swords and things. Definitely not very useful. I would have brought my, uh, 
couple shulker boxes. I just didn't think I'd be finding all this loot. I suppose I should have, but yeah, oh well. Let's see if I think this is where I got our nether wart was right there. Let's see if we can find anything else. I'm just gonna get rid of all these torches because I think that they're gonna make those intersections spawn less blaze overall. So there's that. Uh, we could probably just mine down here, and yeah, we're back to where we were, which is perfect. So let's see what's over here. I'm thinking when we go back out into the open, I, I feel like that'll probably end up having more of the wither skeletons. They just seem to spawn more in the open, so take a look around here. Um, okay, it looks like we definitely were there. I'm not sure if we were over here. I can't believe the size of this. Let's take a look at what we can see. Alright, looks like it's just going in a circle. Yeah, it's probably going to stop. There we go. It did stop, so there's that. See if we can find anything around here. I could probably block that off, but I don't think there's too much of a point. I don't really think we're lost, so. Uh, anything that way? No, those are just areas I blocked off. And anything interesting this way? No, it looks like it just is a dead end, too. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what's over here. I think these torches were meant to lead me back, so. Let's see if there's anything behind here. I always forget to go behind here. There's often stuff. And, oh, there's a chest. So that means we probably haven't been here. Oh my goodness, diamond horse armor. I can't believe the amount of diamond horse armor uh, we've gotten in this world so far. But this is awesome. Diamond horse armor is always appreciated, uh, considering how rare it is. And we can just keep throwing away some of these useless items. Uh, how's our fire resistance going? About 20 seconds. So I'll just get another potion on the bar there. And I'm hoping that we can also run into some magma cream. Uh, because Or magma cubes, that is. Because uh, we are actually out of those. And so I won't be able to explore the nether forever since uh, I'm going to be running out of the fire resistance soon. So I think just going up here might be might be a good idea. I think that's actually where I just was. So I am kind of lost. Not really. I think get down here is probably the right way. Yeah, this seems like it. I can go up again. And uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, there's all the stuff. So I've definitely been here. Oh, and I hear tons of mobs. They sound like they're above me. So this could be perfect. If I just mine a couple blocks here, get ourselves some building blocks, would be awesome. And I can basically just uh, go up here, and I should be able to just go right up into the thick of them. But before I do that, um, I should definitely drink my fire resistance potion, so we'll do that. Break this block, and up we go. Alright, see if we can get this. Alright, we're not doing too bad, we've only lost two and a half hearts from the wither. There we go. Uh, let's get some more baked potatoes on us. Uh, undeniably the worst. No, it's not the worst. It's actually a decent food source. It's, uh, that's okay. There we go. So that's what we heard. Interesting. All right. Um, I'm guessing this way would probably be good. Oh, probably this way. These long corridors uh, look familiar. I think this will lead back to the open area, although we could possibly go there at some point. We probably actually already have been there because that looks like an open part that you wouldn't actually go to. All right. These seem to kind of just go endlessly uh, this way, so we can just take a look, I guess. No, no harm in looking. Now, here another wither skeleton. I think it's up there. Yeah, it is up there. Oh, and down it goes. Let's see if we can get it. Do a critical. And nothing, but, uh, what else is new? I think it's like a 1 in 22 chance or something like that to get a wither skeleton skull, so it's definitely not, uh, very common thing, but hopefully we can get at least get one or two skulls so we can get on our way to defeating the wither because the wither is certainly a useful mob to defeat. And uh, yeah, it's funny, I think that the region of this fortress that is in the Soul Sand Valley should technically spawn more mobs, but it doesn't seem to be doing that, so this looks like the way back. Uh, I think we've just about gone in a big circle, uh, but not quite. I think this goes back to the open bit, so we're basically just back to where we started. I don't see any mobs here that could be a pain, so that's pretty good. Let's see, here's another blaze. I mean, we're definitely getting enough blaze rods, that's awesome, but, uh, yeah, maybe not the best thing. I suppose it's okay. Let's see if there's anything over here. This might might go somewhere. I don't think it does, though. It just goes up over lava. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes, there's all the striders down there. I should ride one at some point, ride a strider. They're quite interesting little mobs um kind of useless really so i think it's kind of funny that they added them but i guess they're just kind of fun so yeah there we go we can get this while we're at it you can always just um yeah oh there it goes actually we can get it with the bow and arrow we do have that forgot there we go and the blaze rod goes into the lava as it does so there's that i think if we go back this way i think there might have been some long corridors that we hadn't been to yet even maybe down here take a oh ouch that's funny the delayed uh, pain there is quite interesting. We kind of got
got the knockback from a little bit late, but anyway. If I think we go this way, we can probably uh, take a look. I, I think these torches might mean I've already been there, so I think I did just go down there. Yeah, that's where I just was. So I think if I go back up here, um, actually I think this is, oh, I know now. What it was is this was the intersection with that. I mean, these are kind of hurt. While we're at it, something we can actually do is we can mine some of this gold because we've been needing some more gold to do some piglin trading. So we can probably just get some of this gold here. And I mean, even if we haven't really found enough wither skeletons for this to be super productive, um, we still have certainly found enough blazes for this to be productive as getting blaze rods. So let's get rid of this coal and all this usefulness, uselessness. Actually, if we put some chests down here near the entrance, I believe our entrance is just here. We can kind of have a bit of a nether base type thing. Not exactly, but something like that. We can throw in everything in here that we don't exactly need. Um, at least don't need right now. Stuff like this, you know, some of this armor um, would go well there. We can just kind of move all this around a bit. Perfect. And we can put away this iron horse armor as well. So there we go. Now we're pretty well clear. And we can go after this blaze. I mean, we've probably got a stack of blaze rods by the end of this, which is awesome. Because blaze rods are always useful. I think you can even use them to smelt items. And, uh, yeah, at this rate, we may, may even do that. Oh, that's kind of wasteful. So let's see what else is around here. Um, looks like there's definitely some mobs there, so take a look around. I really don't think this fortress just has the best corridors and stuff like that for finding uh, wither skeletons, but uh, I do see a normal skeleton up there, actually. And I also... Do I hear a magma cream? I think I do, or a magma cube. I'm not sure if there's one around here, but I do see a normal skeleton. Sometimes they'll spawn with the wither skeleton, so we could take a look over there. Get this uh, skeleton at least. There we go. Alright, we can always take a look down these big long passageways since wither skeletons certainly do spawn here. We did definitely see some. Alright, let's see if we can find anything over here. May as well get this gold while we're at it. And there could actually be some there in that lava sunken place. That might be a good place to explore since there, as we've discovered, there is a lot of this place we haven't been to yet. Um, as with how much treasure we found. And we do still have fire resistance, so what we can actually do is if we get ourselves some netherrack, we can block this up. And then once we've blocked that up, then we can basically actually go up the, um, go down there. We can go up here at first, so to block it up. Probably, I think, the easiest way of blocking this up is just to uh, go up a good way. It's probably not all the way. And then just basically get up to about here. And if we can just place a block on every side. So we can basically just go like this. And then the last block will go down there. And that should stop it. But it's going to be kind of captured here as if it's like a lava fountain type idea. So that's perfect. And I think we can also grab this gold here while we're at it. Why not? always good to get free gold and as long as we don't intersect where we uh, locked up the lava we're good there too which is awesome you almost got three stacks of gold nuggets which is pretty cool There's some more gold up there too it's actually pretty crazy how much gold's in the nether now with the uh, with the nether update it's just a lot of gold so let's grab all this oh it looks like there's um I think actually we've been here before yeah, yeah, here's where we are. So, there might be something down here we haven't actually looked, and if there is something, that could be quite useful. It looks like it does just go down to a tunnel down there, but I don't think we've been down there, so that's pretty good. If this stuff will ever drain, we can probably just swim through it. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if I've been down these tunnels. Actually, no, I think I have. In fact, I know I have, because there's the torches there. Alright, this just goes to a ravine. At least we have an easy way down now. And yeah, minute 37 of fire resistance, so that's good. We may as well just grab some more of this gold while we're at it here. I do hear another blaze, so I, but I don't think that's very much near us because I don't hear it trying to fire. Probably just above us, but where there's blaze, there could be wither skeletons, so we may as well just mine up to that sound. Because, uh, why not? Alright, I don't really hear it anymore. Probably mining the wrong... Oh no, there it is. It's always funny when you mine towards things that you can hear. Oh, there we go, perfect. Oh, it's just down there. Oh, I see. Let's see if we can drop down and get it. Alright, perfect. And hit it one more time. Still got a minute of fire resistance, so we're good. All right, and I think just up here is just where we drained. Uh, may not be, but I think it is. Yeah, it is. So there we go. And we can just head back here. See if there's any wither skeletons that spawned here where we were out, because uh, they certainly do have the chance of spawning. In fact, is that one? No, there's not. I thought that <laughs> soul sand there was a wither skeleton, but unfortunately, I don't believe it is. Well, if, I know it isn't. <laughs> of course, that's not a wither skeleton. Anyway, up we go. All right, let's see what's around here. Uh, just some more. Is that a wither skeleton? Yes, it is. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, even one is more chance than none, right? 
Okay, so there's two. Let's see if we can critical attack these so it takes a less amount of time. Yeah, hopefully. Oh my goodness, we caught one. Yes, we caught a Wither Skull from school. That makes this entire trip worthwhile. With 12 seconds of fire resistance, let's see if we can get these with the bow. Alright, let's maybe uh, drink one more fire resistance and then we can be out of here. Yeah, that's perfect. We finally got a Wither Skeleton School. And I think I hear another Wither Skeleton around here. Yeah, it's just really just finding the Wither Skeleton. It's not killing them that's the problem. Because if you have Looting 3, you really do get a good percentage of your... Not an amazing percentage, but a good percentage of your Wither Skeletons dropping with Schools. I think it's just finding them and getting them to spawn is quite hard. But yeah, we got some. Let's see if we can look around here for a bit longer. See if there's any more. Uh, don't, don't see any more under there. I mean, again, I think there definitely is a chance for them to be under here, but that's awesome. We finally got one. And we actually spent our first one, believe it or not, on the Skull and Crossbones uh, banner pattern that we just used in this episode today. Um, that was a while ago, though. Um, actually, before we even really had the ability to be hunting uh, Wither Skeletons. I think I'm just going to get rid of the Soul Sand, actually, because it keeps confusing me. And I keep thinking that it's a Wither Skeleton there, so there we go. Get rid of that. Just switch all these things around so it's safest and uh, yeah we may as well get more of these blazes really while we're at it i wish there was um i know you can make a strength potion with the blaze but i wish there was some more interesting things to do with that so yeah i, mean, I know you can just i think it's just a uh, strength potion fire charge um i think you can smelt items with blaze rods and of course you know you need them for the brewing stand and for potions but uh yeah let's see if we can get this Perfect. I love it when I get on the way up, and in the lava it goes, so it doesn't really matter anyway, but whatever. There's certainly uh, as many blaze here as we'll ever need. I think we're going to definitely be getting over a stack here pretty soon. So we're on fire, but it's not hurting us. I see. Okay, there we go. Get that, and get that. And yeah, let's definitely take a look, see if we can find any more of the blaze. See if we can get that. Get that. Definitely a blaze hunt. Perfect. And then we can just finish off these. I think that, uh, that one's rod fell in the lava. And this one spawned at the spawner, so we'll just grab this one one more time. Perfect, and we can tell which one we got because of the, uh... Because of the particles there, not the particles, but, uh... Uh, the glowing effect, uh, luminescence or whatever it's called. There we go, we can grab these. I think if we're not too close, then they actually can't hurt us, but we should be careful because we're getting rather hurt here. So let's just eat ourselves a good amount of food. Eat ourselves, yeah, let's just get a good amount of food there, and we can just finish these off, and then, uh, yeah, that seems pretty good. We'll probably just take one more look around, see if we can find any wither skeletons, because I think they spawn when you're further away from, uh, from these intersections and things. I think if you're super close to a place where mobs can sp spawn, they actually won't spawn there, because mobs have to be at least 20 blocks away from you. Now, let's see if we can get rid of this piglin. All right, there we go. And I think I saw some quartz over here, and some quartz would be great because then we can mend our silk touch pickaxe here, which is funny using the one pickaxe to mend the other, but uh, it does work. And uh, yeah, I want to get all this quartz because I think it's just such a nice block. There's a lot of building opportunities for it, and I wouldn't want to waste those by not getting it every time I see it. So let's grab all that, and we almost got an entire stack from all this, which is awesome. Plus, we mended our tools a bit, which is good too. And I think we're almost getting full, so we probably have to head back here pretty soon. But hopefully, we can try getting at least a couple more wither skeletons, get a couple more chances to get a skull. Since uh, one skull is fine, but I think, uh, of course, we need three to defeat the wither, which is exactly what we're going for. Let's see if we can actually get that gas. I don't know if I. Actually, you know what I hear? I hear a magma cube, and a magma cube is exactly what we need. Uh, let's see if we can get that, because we actually need for ourselves fire resistance potions, and magma cubes are the only way to get those. So if we can just get this with our looting three, we're going to actually have a very good chance of uh, getting ourselves fire resistance. There is one. Again, that's not very good, but we can just kill a whole bunch of these. Hopefully we can get ourselves a really uh, good amount of the magma cream. They really don't drop it very much at all. It's funny. It's like very, very infrequently. So yeah, in fact, just two from all that. I don't even know if the baby ones drop it at all. They might, they must drop it a little bit, but I think it's quite rare. Let's see if we can just get this unsuspecting gas. Perfect, I love it. Stealth shots, and of course, uh, everything that dropped in the lava. Hey, three, um, three magma cream isn't too bad. And uh, with that, we can earn a four magma cream. That's actually not too bad at all. Let's see if it did fall in the lava. It did, yeah, so it's not so too long at that. Yeah, that's good. There we go, so that's perfect. And I don't actually see any more 
uh, wither skeletons, anything like that. So we can probably just head on back to uh, home. So yeah, there we go. Probably won't bother with those blaze since we now have 60 blaze rods. That's probably enough for a very, very, very long time. But uh, yeah, we can do one more check around here for potential wither skeletons. Doesn't look like there's any though. And I don't think there's anything in here we really need right now. So we can maybe just switch around a couple of these items. But uh, overall, we don't really need to do too much of that. And uh, there we go. We just grab all that. Maybe switch around the saddle. And perfect. All right, there we go. So we can just head on back and just be very careful around this edge here. Should probably make this safer. I do have the blocks to do it just with me, but that'll maybe I'll do that later. Uh, let's see if we can just go down here very, very carefully since this is very dangerous. So here we go around here. Perfect. And we can just walk across your back. And there's actually one more uh, magma cube I'm seeing right now, which is perfect because again, uh, we do need magma cream. And I think this is the only way of getting it now. Um, when the Nether update first came out, you could actually get magma cream from the piglins, but you can't get it anymore from the piglins, which is uh, quite unfortunate because um, it's actually rather difficult to get large, large amounts of it from these guys. And so we've gotten quite fortunate with the amounts we've gotten, but uh, overall it's actually rather difficult. But uh, yeah, there we go. See if we can get the rest of these. I, don't, I doubt any more of these will drop it, but they might. There's a chance. Uh, there we go. Seven. It's pretty good. And there's a couple more down there. I may as well get them since these guys aren't super common to find. And no, no real big chance of them dropping it though. I think the babies have a very small chance of it. So that's probably just uh, if we just block up this lava real quick, actually, uh, like we did before. We can just grab some of this gold since it is right here. And uh, yeah, it's for over there went the lava. Oh well, forget about that. But yeah, up we go. And uh, yeah, I think I just picked up another. No, I didn't. I picked up some. Another rack. There we go. Perfect. We can get back here. And eventually, maybe we should build like a railway or some kind of thing out here to the uh, to the nether uh, fortress since it is kind of difficult to get there overall. So, yeah, it's maybe not the best maintained road there is. So, but back we go. And, uh, yeah, we'll head on back. Get all this stuff put away. I think now that we have the one wither skeleton skull, uh, I mean, if we got that in about whatever this was, about 20 minutes, we can probably get two more in nether uh, two sets of 20 minutes, so I might try and get some between episodes at some point here, or maybe we'll go to the uh, fortress again at some point here, but I definitely think it would be cool to get ourselves a wither, because yeah, then we can totally get the beacon, and we can just get all those achievements too, which I think would be awesome, so back we go to the overworld, which is much nicer than this um, nether or underworld. Alright. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like the video. And if you didn't like it, dislike the video. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And subscribe to see more content like this. Goodbye!